Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of October. This is for the sign of Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings, but as you know, sometimes they go a whole different route. So we'll see whatever comes up. If you feel comfortable this reading, then great. If you don't, then it's not for you. October for Sagittarius. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. Looks like you guys are regaining your focus. Regaining your focus, regaining your composure. Um, you're probably coming up with some new approaches to get something done. I see a lot of confidence here, a lot of strength. There's been a lack of effort or something like that. Somebody hasn't put in effort. Lack of appreciation, lack of togetherness, working together. Somebody's not compromising. We have an ending, death. Moving on. Big changes. Something good is coming your way. Mm, just want to be happy, huh? You just want to be happy. It looks like, I think some something is closing. There's some, some something is. With the death next to the Nine of Cups, I mean, Nines are closure. And this is lack of abundance next to that death card. It's like this is lack of happiness and something. But I just want to be happy. I don't, I don't want to prove myself anymore at this point. Moving on. You're definitely moving out of a... Of stormy weather okay you are you're definitely moving out of a difficult situation which is great yes you are absolutely ah oh, wonderful so Sagittarius Whew, there's lack of there's lack of happiness okay right in the middle here there's lack of abundance lack of wish fulfillment lack of Oh, love in some arena, okay, there is. It's like it's. I'm lacking, I'm lacking. But I have to tell you, the wheel is changing. It's turning in your favor with that wheel of fortune right next to that sun card and and your energy up there. If you guys have been feeling negative or you've been feeling kind of sluggish or down, things should be starting to pick back up. You may have been involved with an individual who offered you some false promises. They may have treated you unfairly. You, you know, and you may have had to just remove yourself from the situation to bring peace back to your life, okay? I do see that you guys are moving out of some sort of trouble, okay? I do see there's somebody that doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And perhaps that that's where this these false promises come in. I feel like you are dealing with, or you were dealing with, or, or I don't know who it is, but somebody... Um, was being dishonest in some situation. There was some dishonesty here. Huh. We do have we do have a, a transition though. So I mean, these are both cards of transition. So you guys are transitioning away from. It looks like some power struggles. You may have been involved with somebody that was very argumentative. It almost feels like you were with somebody that loved to fight and argue. And this person is very unbalanced. Okay, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, we're dealing with somebody who doesn't have integrity, who doesn't treat people fairly, who doesn't want to be held accountable, who doesn't want to own up to anything. So either that's that's you or that's somebody that you're dealing with. And I feel like you guys are are moving away from that though. There's an ending, and moving a transition that makes you happy and turns things in your favor. So with the wheel of fortune, you know, I feel like you guys are on the up and up. 
because, I mean, your energy looks really positive over here. So I do see a positive change because the change of course, that Wheel of Fortune is a change of course. With that Six of Swords, it's for the better. It's a change. So whatever is, ha whatever is ending, endings bring new beginnings. Something is ending that changes your course for the better. Where you no longer have to prove yourself. So I don't know what that is, but... Letting go of ego oh, with that five of swords reversed. It's like, ah, oh, I'm not here to win. I'm just here to be happy. I just want to be happy. That's all I care about. I do see a new, a new phase or a new chapter starting for you. And it's because you guys have remained strong and positive. There's a ten of cups. So yeah, there's happiness here. And abundance. I mean, we have the 9 to the 10, even though this one's reversed. So I feel like some, in one situation, there was a huge lack, a huge lack of abundance. And now you have an opportunity for extreme happiness because something is changing. Something is changing to that is going to make you happy. Now, this is the 10 of Cups. So this is this could be permanent love. The storm is over when you get the Ten of Cups, especially with these the death up here and these three cards. Whatever stormy weather that you have been through recently, I do believe it's over. I see positive energy coming in. Okay? Absolutely. Okay, we have the Six of Wands, victory. You're, you're going to win. You're going to win this, whatever this is. You were dealing with somebody who I think was, try, was trying to bring you down. But I see you as absolutely being the victor in this situation. And you know why? Because of your confidence. Because of your perseverance. Because of your ability to keep going and not quit. Triumph. I mean, that's what this is. Oh, okay. After being unbalanced, probably even impatient, you may have been a little impatient, you maybe have been a little bit temperamental, maybe you've even been a little overwhelmed with all the changes that are going on within you. But when you don't quit, even though you're going through all those freaking changes, you know, the ups and downs in your life that are drastic, extreme up and ups and downs, but when you really don't quit, the strength that you gain from that is insurmountable, really, right? It is. I feel like your health is improving as well. I just wanted to tell you that. I feel like your health is probably improving. Um, I feel, I mean, this is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Now, that's not putting in effort. And maybe... But it is connected to this one, so let me get another one. Oh, it's the same card. So you may have been dealing with a water sign that really wasn't putting in much effort. Or you could have a water sign. That is wanting something with you. But you may not be putting effort into accepting any offer from this person. Maybe you're not quite willing to, to, things are a little chaotic in your life right now. You're not, this is the two of pentacles reversed. So it's like things are a little unbalanced and you don't think you're ready to make any poor decisions at this time. You know, there could be an offer. There could be an offer of love here that you are undecided about. You're undecided about it because right now you're working on your own success, right? You're working on your own success. You're going through some major changes and you may be juggling too much at this time. So you really can't put effort into this relationship that, you know, is probably coming. I do believe that there is some sort of, I mean, these are both new chapters. Really, this is a completion. This is a completion. A completion of not having anybody to work with you. So, you know, I really feel like 
it's the end of not getting wish fulfillment as well because these are the completions that's the change of course it's the end of your like the storm is over like i said this is exactly what this is good fortune is coming it is the the the, the time of you not being appreciated and not having anybody to work together with is just about over and it's because you have stuck it out you know you've sweated it out you have your hard work is paying off even though this is lack of putting in effort I think that your hard work on yourself is paying off I feel like somebody may want to have a relationship with you or they may be offering you something and you're like well Things are too unbalanced for me right now. They are unbalanced, unbalanced, unbalanced. I mean, things are not harmonious at this time. Because when you're going through the storm, it's usually too rocky, you know, it's too it's too crazy. So I feel like right now, I mean, you could say this is the flood waters, okay? You could say that he's in the flood waters. I mean, the waters haven't gone down yet. So you do have a, a, a an ending here that is going to bring a new beginning, but, you know, it may not be right now. Now, this is the Four of Swords, as they, they call it, truce. This is about maybe you just need to take a break for a little while to recuperate. And maybe that's what you're doing. You're going through a period of recuperation because things are so out of whack. Because you're, you know, you're going through a transformation. That's what the death card is. It's a transformation. You're moving out of this storm. The star reversed. There's discouragement though, right? You may be discouraged. You may, you may loop start to feel insecure at this time. This is loss of faith, discouragement, insecurities. Uh, feel like there's no hope. Don't don't give up your hope because when something ends, consider it a blessing, right? Consider it a blessing. Some whatever's when something ends, it is a blessing. Don't don't lose hope in this situation. Don't lose hope because when you get to the other side, when you get to the other side, there will be a new beginning, but you have to keep going. You have to keep going. Nine of Wands reversed. I feel like you guys, you may have been ripped apart, okay? You may have been ripped apart by a situation, torn apart, or eaten up, you know? I don't know what the case is, but I feel like you are coming, you're coming, you're about to have some sort of rebirth, okay? This is the Nine of Swords reversed. It's like, dissolving from that situation I mean the next step for this this thing is to basically dissolve right whatever you want to call it to fade away so I feel like you guys are are fading out of a situation that left you feeling hopeless but that hopeless situation is about to get better okay but you have got to have faith in the loss of the star is loss of faith so you know your thoughts truly do become things so if you lose your faith then that's what you're sending out to the universe right okay so keep resting rest assured that that uh, what goes around comes around and you are destined for a change a positive change okay there's a change of course on the horizon that is bringing you something good it is so don't give up your hope Keep, keep, keep sweating, you know, keep, keep running, keep going. Don't quit. Don't quit because you're going to be the victor in this situation. There's a, there, you've been in a situation where there wasn't victory and success, but, and maybe you haven't put in enough hard work. I mean, with the eight of pentacles reversed and the three of pentacles reversed, maybe in the past you didn't, you didn't find the ambition. You didn't find the strength to put in extra effort but it feels like now you're finding that strength again you're finding that the ability to refocus and reconcentrate and 
and bring balance back to your life to get your life back on track. So I think that whatever is happening is happening to get your life back on track. You have a you have a new beginning here, a new chapter that is going to bring you something um, a lot more fortunate than where you've been. If it's love, there could be an offer of love, but I'm not sure that I'm not sure that you're ready for it. I'm not sure that you're ready for it. But I do feel like, I mean, you do have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in this mix. Okay, we have it right here, too. We have it right here, right here. We have Scorpio up there. We do have the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Libra. Um, it doesn't really matter who we have because it could be anybody. But I feel like you guys are, are moving out of something that has been very, very turbulent. And something better is coming. It really is. So keep your eyes open. Is it love? It, it could lead to a happy relationship. It could with that Ten of Cups. Because I see that one phase is completing. And you are beginning a new phase. You are. With that wheel, in that death card, there's a new beginning here. And with these two Knights of Cups, I mean, one of them could be an offer of love. So there, there definitely could be somebody that wants to, you know, be in a relationship with you. That could certainly that could certainly come about, you know. I see that, but you may not have faith in it. You may be like, no, I'm taking a break. My life's a freaking mess right now. I, you know, you may not be looking for love because you might feel like your life is too hectic. I mean, I see a really hectic situation here that is being dealt with. So I think this is a hectic time that you are actually absolutely handling with tact. I think that you are handling it very well and you are going to receive some sort of reward in the near future. Just keep going. Don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. My advice for you this month is do not quit because something good is coming to you. It could be in the form of a new relationship if that's what you're looking for. But right now you're going through some changes that need to be finished out. That's what it looks like to me. You are still going through that transformation. We got two of them. Do you love it when that happens? We're going to read this one first. Fogged in. I couldn't read for the last one. We'll see what happens this time. Go slow. Take time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. Okay. You are safe when you take the time to go slowly. New perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the ma the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune into your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Remember I said something about taking a break. Sometimes the mist and the fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's in these moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so as not to fall off your path. Be careful. Proceed with caution. You don't want to trip. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen. Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust your inner voice. Like I said, I just don't think it's the time right now. You're still going through your transformation. And it's not easy. We're going to read the next one. Answering the call. The time is now. You've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. You might feel ready or you might be uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Look at what's in the middle. Son of a bitch. Your true and authentic life is happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now, you have been called. 
and a gateway is opening for communication from the spirit realms. The energy of courage surrounds you. Remember I was talking about strength? I guess I should have said courage. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that is now that it is now time to act and go forward. Spirit is trying to get your attention right now. Your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. Listen with your heart. The time is now. Do it now. The goosebumps are here. Throw your shoulders back. Take a deep breath and plunge forward. Son of a... This is not... This, this card don't go with this deck. Okay? Son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I can't stop myself. Throw your shoulders back. Take a deep breath and plunge forward. The waiting is over. No matter what concerns or hesitations you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready. You're ready to work on you to succeed, to have your victory. Believe. Remember we were talking about believing? Trust. Follow the signs. There will be many. And miracles will abound. Don't quit. Your miracle is right around the corner. You're, you're going to do something big. Okay? Talk to you next month. Or in the dailies or the weeklies or whenever.